got a weird creepy feeling. Open. Oh, oh my god, there's a creepy white man over here. Yo, that's a creepy white man. I'm afraid. I don't want them to see me coming. I'm I don't know what you're saying. Wait. <sighs> Hi. I know, you guys have been wondering. Where have you been? Where's all my creepy videos? Where's my 3 a.m. videos? Well, Marmars and guys out there and people who don't know me, 2020 has been plenty creepy enough. When you didn't think it could get any creepier, there's now an app called Randonautica to make it creepier. So today, I'm gonna be exploring the world of Randonautica. If you don't know what Randonautica is, it's an app where you can set your location or wherever you are, and it will give you a random coordinate for you to go to. People have been experiencing weird events of like allegedly traveling to different dimensions, getting into eerie, creepy encounters with like people that are actually showing up places, to actual crime scenes. So there's a lot of conspiracies surrounding random nodding already, even though it's a fairly new app. Things like people on the dark web actually controlling the coordinates of you where you actually go. The app actually claims that you can use your intention to manifest these coordinates because when you're using the app, it actually asks you, like, think about your intention, right? And so supposedly it's using a quantum number generator, which is something, it just sounds really fancy. I don't know what it means, but it just means like a lot of numbers, right? Plus our human brains manifesting what we want. So this sounds all great until it got really real. Got really real. On June 19th, 2020, a group of teens in Seattle, Washington, went to try out the app. What started as a fun adventure ended with a very grisly discovery. Some teens who were using a TikTok app that randomly generates a nearby location to explore got to the location. The app led them to this like rocky spot near the water where they saw a black suitcase. They couldn't deny how bad it smelled. So they decided to open it up. Wait, open it. <laughs> it stinks, y'all. Inside was a trash bag full of something. So they decided to call the police. Okay, so she's calling the police so we can see if it's actually a dead body or it's just food. And later the police actually confirmed that it was a body. Today, I'm going randonauty. I just wanna know, is this app legit? Is it really using quantum mechanics and our manifestations to create these coordinates where we go? Is it some weird dark web conspiracy where evil people are putting creepy coordinates of their trophies? I don't know. Today we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go randonautic for the first time. I'm kinda nervous. Let's do it. 2020, here we go. I'm gonna be safe. Also, comment below, what would your intention be if you were going randonauting right now? Would it be like, I'm hungry? Or would it be like, death? I don't know. Comment it below and tell me what you would say to like the app, thinking to like for it to appear and maybe I'll use one of those. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon and I'm glad to be back with another new video. <laughs> All right guys, so it's time to test the app. I just downloaded it right here. I know what you guys want to see, so I'm not going to type like something dumb. I'm just going to go right into it. I don't know, I just watched a bunch of videos and people basically saying it's real. Let's search, what would you like to get? Attractors are dense clusters of random points. Voids are the opposite. Anomalies are the strongest out of the attractors and voids. Okay, I'm going to do anomaly. How many points would you like to look for? I'm going to say one point. Finding a location, focus your intent. Okay, our intent is going to be, we're gonna just get right into it, I'm gonna say creepy, okay? Creepy is my intent. Okay, we have a point, point generated. Um, intention driven anomaly found maps, okay. Okay, it's opening Google Maps. Oh, it's actually super close to me. Okay, let's start there. 3 p.m. right now, this is my first randonautica, rando, rando nodding experience. And we are gonna do it with a positive mindset, even though we said we're looking for something creepy. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, we're about three minutes away. We're in not the best neighborhood now. Okay. okay. It says we're here. It says we're here? Yeah. All I see right here is a daycare. It just thought, it took me right to a daycare. I think we're being the creepers here. We're just sitting outside of a daycare, Googling it. Okay, maybe the first one didn't work. Maybe I should 
do it again. I saw some people saying that you had to have like multiple locations. So I looked for five points and I focused on our tent of creepy and it sent me five different points of creepiness, right? Um, I'm just gonna click on the first one right here in maps. This one's five minutes away from us. Okay, let's let's try it. I has got a suitcase and that's creepy to me because in like one of the first stories it talks about these kids finding a suitcase with a body in it but obviously that doesn't have a body in it. This guy's just like You'd have to be really about. strong in that yeah, body. Yeah. To me, Randonautica is like a app Ouija board kind of. Like, I don't know. I don't understand fully how it works. No one, like, we all know it's like random points and it's all coincidences but it's just weird to me that you have to do like an intention. like. You have to think of something that you want and then you make it happen yourself, which is weird. Oh, there's a couch. Oh, you scared me. Okay, wait. Okay, so we're um, one minute away. There's a, that's a weird couch on the road. Okay, it's not that creepy though. Apparently, we are here. It's this red house. But there's people there. It took me right here. It says, you have arrived. I don't know if you guys can see that. You've arrived. And it's supposed to be this house right here. Do you guys see anything creepy about this? I don't see anything creepy. It looks like an, a natural, normal house to me. All right, let's try the next point here. This is the second point. Also, not nice neighborhoods it's taking us to, but okay, let's go to this point. What if this is just like a, a ploy to make people like waste their gas and you don't actually find anything? What if they're all just trolling us and like a few but people someone got, found a body well i mean what if that was just like a coincidence we'll see we're about four minutes from our third point here and i just feel uneasy about it even though we're in the daytime i don't know i just don't want to see a body i don't want to see like something weird like one guy he went to a point and like a bunch of ambulances were coming like that was kind of creepy if that happened to me i would be a believer so far i'm not a believer yet so far i'm just like ah. Eh. It's kind of just, yeah, you're right. It's kind of just making me waste my gas. Okay, it's supposed to be creepy. Right around this corner. Here we go. Creepy. Here we go. You have arrived. Why does it keep taking me to houses? And like, most of them are gated. Um, I don't see anything weird about this house. It's just a brick house. All right, let's just give it another inspection. Do you see anything creepy? No. There's that creepy window. We're going to the third one now. Well, this one's kind of creepy because it's on a freeway. How would, we're not gonna be able to stop. Okay. It might be under the freeway. <gasps> under the freeway. Okay. We're on the freeway now, and uh, nothing creepy yet. We're about two minutes away from our destination. What? Oh, it says it's right here. What? I can't go back there. It's like on a freeway. It wants me to like hop over this dead end here to get to the spot I hit another dead end okay guys so we're back on the freeway and this destination is kind of dangerous so do not try this at home but also like it's literally off a of freeway it's right here okay do you guys see anything anything creepy I do see that thing that is creepy what is that that's where the spot is no guys this is just the spot you have arrived and then there's random black thingy dangerous on this freeway I can't stop there's like literally a guy like bunch of cars behind me it's really dangerous to stop there there's no way we can stop there but I guess that's the creepiest we've gotten is this thing that's shaped like a body but that's just our minds this one right here and it get because we have five points this is the fifth point eight minutes away okay well let's head there we're back at this third location for like for the second time I don't know why, something creepy must be happening here because it generated two of the same points. Nothing seems different though. Everything seems the same. I don't see anything creepy around here. Maybe we should try again when it gets dark. Okay. All right, I know we said we were gonna wait till tonight to do it, but I wanted to try one last one. So I pushed void option and only one point and my intention was hunger because I'm hungry. And it took me to like, we're in like an industrial area again. It's like a warehouse. Yeah. A fridge right there. <gasps> Should we look in the fridge? Is there food in there? That's the only, cause I said I was hungry. That's the only coincidence we found is like, it brought us to this exact fridge. All right guys, so it brought us to this fridge. 
I'm gonna open it. Like if there's nothing in the fridge. It creeps me out though, like, cause I was hungry. Fridge, I don't know. The bottom is like stuck. It's open from that way. And we saw there was nothing in the fridge. There's no body parts. <sighs> so that makes me feel better. That's the only coincidence so far. I was hungry and it brought me to a fridge. But other than that, it's not been working. So we're gonna wait till nighttime to see the rest. So we'll see you guys then. All right guys, it's nighttime. All throughout today, we didn't get any like things to happen since it's nighttime we're gonna do something crazy like death <laughs> right when i said it it popped up wait it said it's found okay let's go to maps <laughs> you just locked the door <laughs> wait this is inside the school like a college or something why does it can't take me to all these schools all right the intent is death Okay guys, so we pulled up and the road was blocked. We can't like go in at all. For some reason the road was just blocked. Oh my God, the road was blocked, weird. I don't know why. So anyways, this road is never blocked, but it's really weird that it's blocked right now. Maybe something's going on there. Maybe something happened, but I didn't see any police cars. Anyways, let's keep driving. For some reason, like look. Wait, yeah, here. see this one's blocked this too. This one's blocked too. And it says LAPD, like they blocked it, weird. All right guys, so I don't want to trespass through any of those things right now, that's illegal. So I'm gonna go to the second point that it sent me. Let's try to drive there right now, it's only four minutes away. Remember, our intention is death. All right guys, we're taking the turn right now on Moor Park. Uh, this is like pretty creepy dark road. Okay, look at the house that it says it's at, right? Right there? Yeah. The door is red. Can you see that? No, the you're in front of the tree. Okay, so the only thing is that this door is red, and that's where it says it's at. So that's the only strange thing I'm seeing is that, like, what does red door mean? If you guys know anything about red doors, can you leave in the comments for me, please? Um, I don't know if that's, like, a gateway to something, or I don't know. But, like, that's the only coincidence. The last house had a red door. This house also had a red door. All right, guys, I'm going to try the last point here. I'm going to try a void this time. I'm looking for one point. Okay, focusing my intent right now. I'm focusing my intent. <gasps> we have to go to somewhere called the Silver Triangle. That's weird. Wow, I've never heard of that. Yeah, me neither. All right, let's go. I've literally never been there before, but it's near freeway. What's up here? But is it like a creepy car? Is this like a creepy white van? <gasps> Oh my god, but it is a creepy white van. Oh my god. Yo, oh my god, that's oh a god, creepy god. white van. Oh my god. Oh yo, god. yo, that's a creepy white van. Okay, guys. Oh, it's in reverse? No, no, it's moving. It's mo Wait, is it moving as soon as I got here? No. No, it's reverse. Oh my god, yeah, it's moving. Guys, it's backing Why up. Why is like, he backing up but then, I don't know. like, not going? He's, like, just backing up. What? Guys, it's taken us to this creepy white van right now. And I guess we're supposed to watch it, but it, it like just reversed. Wait, someone's getting out. Look, someone's getting out. Yo, that's so weird. What's he doing? Walking the other way. I know, but why is he walking? When he, what? Well, I'm going to get you a clear shot of this van. Wait, wait, is that Wait. Good? They okay. went and got a bicycle. They got a bicycle? They got a bicycle. They're bringing it back. Why? I'm afraid. I don't want them to see me filming them. No, just be careful. Just like try to like, like hide it. I don't know what you mean by hide it. So, I'm going to drive. Is he even putting the bike like in the car? What's he doing? From. He literally has a white van, but he walked like up here, and there's no like. I thought there's he was going to. I thought here. he was going to a store or something, but literally he turned right here into this wall, and he came back. Oh. He came back. He came back and literally had a bike. 
Like he turned into the wall. I thought he was turning into the shopping center, but he just turned into a wall and came back with the bike. We're just gonna leave before something really creepy happens, like the van starts following us or something. I don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, and we'll do one more point. Oh my gosh, look at all these points that are popping up. Oh my gosh, intention driven anomaly. I've been giving my intent. You guys know my intention right now. <gasps> the bus scared me. <laughs> the bus just... I looked for 10 points, but it only gave me two. Weird. So that means these are, must be like intense points. So let's go to this one. Okay, here we go. This one's the furthest one away too. Yeah, this is the, that's the only weird part about it is like this one is super far. Normally it's only like five minutes away, five minutes away. This is triple that. This is 15 minutes away. What, what the heck? I, mean, I didn't know what you were saying. Wait. Is that the van? No. No. You scared me. I thought you said it was the van. I thought it was for a second. <laughs> oh my god. You just saw the light. <laughs> okay guys, we're almost to our destination here. We're one minute away. Creepy feelings here. I don't know why. Why? Oh no, this is someone's driveway. Which I definitely don't want to go to someone's house. Yeah. Yeah. Down like a creepy road. Um, should we keep going? It says the destination's like right ahead. I want us to go down there and then there's no way out if we go down there. Like, I don't know what's down there, but honestly, if you guys want me to do this, I'll come back in a different video. Like, I just want to get stuck down there, and if we go off the wrong way, we literally will go off the cliff, and like, something could happen. Since that was the last one, I just, I felt really creepy, and we drove a really long time up in these weird hills. Um, yeah, I don't want to go down there right now, like, I don't want to get stuck down there, but in the next video, I'm down. Let's do it in the next one. I'm going to end this one here because it's almost 12 o'clock at night. And that's when the bad things happen. So I'm going to end this video. Uh, if you like this new uh, Rando Not series, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and let me know if I should do more of these and what other things I should try to make it work better. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.